Away from that, the Synagogue Church of All Nations says they will adhere to all COVID-19 protocols during the burial of their church founder, Timitokwe Joshua, which will last for one week. Senior correspondent Ivy Khan reports. This is the Synagogue Church of All Nations, barely three weeks after the death of the founder of the church, Timitokwe Joshua. Now the hundreds and sometimes thousands of people that gather here daily while the man was alive are not here. In their place, a condolence register is here. The church administration, while laying to rest the controversy over his final resting place, stressed that his candlelight procession will be a private affair. is here at the church in, in Lagos, and the time, the date, is the Friday the 9th, the um, laying to rest and interment service that was mentioned, which starts at 10 a.m. Collaboration with the Federal Ministry of Health and the Lagos State Ministry of Health, all protocols and non pharmaceutical interventions to maintain safety throughout the event have been put in place. In addition, we've been working with the Lagos State Safety Commission to ensure that all regulations and protocols are strictly complied with. Uh, the police uh, Road safety, the vigilante group, the DSS and SCDC, and uh, we've made agreement with the NURTW to give us uh, the permission to close this this frontway. There will be diversion to Latigura. When asked on the succession plan of the church, we were told that it is not an administrative issue. I was saying that the, the questions concerning succession and, and leadership in the church are kind of off the subject here, except to say if there is anything to announce, it will be clearly and plainly and directly announced. So uh, generally on, on this and other issues, um, the many different stories which are, which are going around, um, until you've heard an official announcement, then it's best to, to disregard those things. The people of Arigidi Akoko in Ondo State, which was the native land of the late prophet, had wished he will be buried on their land. But the decision of the church to lay him to rest in the place he nurtured and called home while he lived is going to be a celebration of life and legacy of a man, Prophet T.B. Joshua.